Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm reviewing a product that claims to save you money. The Google Nest Learning Thermostat, which has now been in operation in my home for the past few months. At this point, I must say, this review is my own honest opinion and views of this product. I have no affiliation with any other persons or parties. So why did I choose the Google Nest? Well, quite simply, the existing thermostat went kaput. It was giving a target reading of 20 degrees C when the room was more like 35 degrees C and the smart meter was clocking up units of energy faster than you could bat an eyelid. The engineer initially said it was the batteries in the thermostat. It was not. Quite simply, the stat was not working. To be honest, I've never liked this thermostat ever since we moved into this brand new house six years ago. It never kept accurate time and was a right faff to program it. The Google Nest. The thermostat recommended by our engineer and I was quite happy to go along with his recommendations. It took about a half a day for him to install it and now it looks as though it's always been there. The thermostat controls a combi boiler located in the garage, which provides heat and hot water for a fairly new, well insulated, detached house. Initially I was sceptical. It's claimed it learns the rhythm of the house. Hey, there are two retired people living in this house. It doesn't have a rhythm, or so I thought. Set to learning mode, within a week or so, a schedule had been created. A month or so later, we hardly touched the thermostat. Simplicity is what I really like about this product. When you walk into the room, the dial, it lights up. Then just turn the outer ring up or down. When the boiler fires up, then the centre screen glows orange. And if the little green leaf appears, then the system is in eco mode. Just press to access the menu. Rotate the dial to select the menu item. You can set a schedule. Switch to eco mode. Set the time, date and temperature range, plus much, much more. Most of which can be accessed via an app on your smartphone. Adjusting the schedule via a smartphone could not be easier. Simply touch the day, followed by the dot you wish to alter. Then slide up or down for the temperature and from left to right for the time of day. A couple of features I particularly like. It remembers how long the system takes to reach temperature. So for instance, if it takes 15 minutes and at 8 a.m. it is set to be at 23 degrees C, then the boiler will fire up at 7.45 a.m. When you leave home with your smartphone and the sensors in the thermostat detect no one else is at home, it will automatically switch to eco mode. And then return to the temperature for that time of day when you return home. The history feature shows how long the heating was on for previous days. The times it was active, the temperature at those times, and if this was due to weather conditions or user intervention. If you'd like to know more, or you think there's something I may have missed, just click that button and leave your comment in the comments box below. Activate and ding the bell 
and I do love to receive a thumbs up. So to sum up, I'm impressed and pleased with the Nest thermostat. Its ability to learn the rhythm of the house is remarkable. And yes, it can save you money. However, for me, any savings are far outweighed by the massive price hikes in the cost of energy over the past 12 months. Having said that, it was nice to see on my energy company's hub that my heating usage had dropped by 28% in February. Much of this would be due to February being warmer than January. However, some of it could be due to the first full month using the Google Nest learning thermostat. I do hope that you have found this video useful. Well, the most rewarding thing for me is to hear from you, the viewers. So please get in touch. Well, that's all for now. So it's goodbye from me and thanks for watching.